Okay, so in my last video, uh, I showed you how to jailbreak a PS3 with the 4.82 exploit. Now that sets your console to CEX. Today I'm going to show you how to convert it to DEX, and I will be copying this guy's video here with this person's link, and I will leave a link to both this download link and the original video in the description. So first you're going to want to click this and it will start a automatic download. So there, downloads, click save. Just wait for that to download. I'm going to cancel it because I've already downloaded it. For that you will get this here. What you're going to want to do is go get a USB you want to get your USB in FAT32 now create a folder in your USB in all capitals name it PS3 Go in there. Inside the PS3 folder, you want a folder called Update. And this is where you're going to put your file. So now, once that's copied across, just exit out of that, exit out of that. You don't need this anymore and just eject your USB to make sure the file doesn't get corrupted and then you can pull it out. So now you're on your PS3 you want to go to Rebug Toolbox. Now make sure you plug your USB into the right USB slot on your PlayStation the one closest to the disk drive. You can check here to make sure you are on CEX then go all the way to utilities, enable QA flag, all the way to the bottom, and dump EID root key. After that, your system will reboot. Just go back down to Reboot Toolbox. Then go across to the dex slash sex page and rewrite target ID flash. Now you can click swap level 2 kernel, system restart, now the system has restarted if you go back into the toolbox you will see that you are on DEX. Now this does raise one other problem and that problem is that when you try to sign in you will get this error. Now there are two fixes for this. One I'm going to show you in this video. The other I am going to make a dedicated video Four, but for now I will leave the link to Mr. Mod's video, he's the creator of the tool that fixes the other. Go all the way to the bottom, use EID 5 CEX, and you will have to do this every time at boot if you don't do the other fix. And now, as you see, I can sign in with no problem. Check the description for a permanent fix, and I will be making a video on his tool in the future.
Thanks for watching. Happy modding. Goodbye. And that's installed. I'm gonna want PS Ninja. I'm going to want.